a 40 year old male presented to opd with complaints of excessive daytime sleepiness and his wife also complained that he snores a lot in the night during sleep which means it's likely to be a case of obstructive sleep apnea which of the following is incorrect regarding his condition so option b fall of oxygen saturation triggers waking episodes at night that's correct so because of obstruction and apnea there will be fall in oxygen saturation that is because of increase in carbon dioxide that is basically going to trigger the waking episodes in the night so these patients won't sleep properly in the night that's why they have excessive daytime sleepiness option c episodes of apnea increases stress on the heart that's correct remember here the apnea is due to obstruction right so because of the obstruction patient will put more inspiratory effort and that's going to increase the intrathoracic pressure which is going to alter the preload and afterload on the heart so that definitely puts stress on the heart and long term cardiac remodeling and cardiomyopathy is also common in these patients and hypoxemia is going to stimulate respiratory effort correct in fact that is the one that promotes the waking episodes as well as going to stimulate respiratory effort because hypoxemia is due to high co2 we know that co2 is a strong trigger for respiratory effort and that's the reason why this is going to basically increase or stimulate the respiratory effort what is wrong here is increase tone of pharyngeal muscle is going to worsen obstruction that's wrong in fact reduced tone or flaccidity of the muscles of the pharynx is the one that's going to result in fall back of the tongue resulting in obstruction at the level of the pharynx right upper airway so that is the right answer for this question because it's a wrong statement it's not increased tone it's decreased tone